He has a goal. In New Zealand, we've got this big thing about you know making it. We're quite a small country, and so the goal is to while you make it here, you tackle overseas. That's where everything's at. There's no map but this nation, just the nation's well, I didn't know him before the party. I mean, I knew of him, but I didn't realize who he was when he walked in. He's kind of this local celebrity. Has some pretty strong opinions, but knows when to keep them to himself. He is patient, calm, and kind. And he's got kind of like free spirit. Just talking, he just knows how to talk. As for her, I've known her since high school, so we've known each other for ages. And she told me not to tell anyone who she was because, you know, she wanted to have a normal night. Her whole personality is attractive. She loves to ask questions. She doesn't cry often. It is, it is the, the soul, the spirit, you can see the fire. Overhead the spotlight searching, bleaching out. She doesn't mind running around naked. I feel you in me, in my mind, in my chest. It is seductive. I didn't see what happened, I thought they were alone, but everyone seems to have their own version of the story and all I know is that she's really upset and embarrassed. Wasn't so much a first date as it was an introduction and a conversation. He's obviously attracted, um, but this girl, she, 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 she obviously wasn't another level. You know, he, um, he was still pretty, pretty nervous, actually had a, had a few, um, a few bourbons. And he obviously recognised her because he, he's like staring at her while she's dancing and starts to piss her off. But you know, he, he plays the game. They want, but they don't do it. Yeah, they want. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so then he puts his arm around her. He makes an advance. Uh, he jumped on her. Jump, yeah. And. Then after like five minutes, they started to kiss each other and really, really, like French kiss, really, really close. So just a kiss, no, just a kiss. A kiss. Yeah. A big kiss, a kiss. And she says, what the fuck is that, you know? And everyone was looking at them and he said, I just wanted to know what your lip gloss tasted like. They have a bit of an argument because he just doesn't, it is just a bit pushing a bit too far. And then the dude was like, you seem to be awkward, are you okay? And uh, so there was a misunderstanding. And she's like, I'm okay, but this is awkward. At which point she um, takes off. <laughs> and then the guy just walks off. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so, who do you know here? Uh, um, I'm friends with James. Uh, I think his Chinese name is Jim. Right, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, who do you know here? Oh, just a girlfriend I'm visiting for a few days. I, I don't really know anyone. <laughs> just a girlfriend? But what's her name? Maybe I know her. Okay, so I'm supposed to ignore that and just come up with something to say to move this along? <laughs> oh, I think you're beautiful. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Your eyes. A woe sure. there, Tiger. <laughs> Sorry, I thought honesty might help. <laughs> right. Big help. Well, that's not the right move. 
Introducing yourself to someone you're attracted to is difficult. I can see in your eyes that you're smart, and you know that, and that's why I'm talking to you. Okay. Where are you from? Well, I'm from here, but I've been all over. I was with a band, and we've just done a whole pile of gigs in Hong Kong last summer. Really? I grew up in Hong Kong. Whereabouts were you staying? Uh, one Chai. But I didn't get out much during the days. I was mainly uh, applying for my masters during the days. Your masters? Uh, right, that's the tourist district. I never really went there. Mm. Uh, well, what about you? What do you do? I'm in a band as well, actually. Well, I should probably clarify. I'm done with my band. But I'm wanting to put down some roots and develop some deeper relationships. Uh, but what's the name of your band? A vixen in ecstasy. Are you Holly Hardy? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, just give me a minute here, because right now I'm feeling all wowed. <laughs> but you're a person too, and not just some big flashy star, and you need to connect with people, and not just a gawking admirer. So, are you in the mood to talk about your band? Not really. Right, okay. Um, like I wonder if... You must find it hard to even think with everyone always wanting a piece of you. Like, aren't you also the spokesperson for some uh, makeup yes, company? Yes, which shall remain nameless. It, it works because I wear so much makeup on stage. Right. But don't you like ever look at those photos and think that's not you? Like it's some iconic image that you're trying to live up to? Yeah. Totally. Um, I mean, at first I was just enamoured with it, like, look how cool I am. But recently it started seeming so mechanical. People make a big deal about it. It's not. I just sit there getting my face painted and then make faces to a photographer for an hour. And, big secret here, I get paid obscenely for it. <laughs> it don't seem bored. So what's driving you? I don't know. I just... I don't feel like I'm done. I mean... I still feel all this stuff, I want to get it out. What about you? Um, well, people always say that I think too much. I mean, I've tried to turn it off by getting trashed or the, making myself so busy that I can't think ahead of what I'm doing. But I've decided that that's just me trying to ignore the truth. So now I'm trying to work with it. And part of that is finding people that I don't have to... Uh, trim the conversation with. There are people who want more clarity too. Wow. Well put. I've been doing the busy thing way too much. That's, that's actually why I'm here visiting my friend, just to take a break and think. I always feel like I'm competing with everyone, I'm with this like idea in my head. I'm afraid of taking a break because I fear I'm falling further behind. But I'm so exhausted that sometimes I just feel like I'm dying a little bit at a time. I'm good at taking breaks. I'd like to go and just <laughs> savour it. Uh, well, can I have your number? No, I can call you later.
I think he was embarrassed that people knew he had real feelings or that a girl could have an effect on him in that way because he was a rock star, you know, he's too cool for that. And maybe she'll be good to me and drag me home like some kind of magical tractor beam. Spare room.